Location, Aqaba C-130 Hercules. I chose this location as the first to discuss for a good reason. The video from this diving adventure is the most popular on my profile. Thanks so much for 120,000 views. The C-130 Hercules wreck was intentionally sunk by the Jordanian government as a diving attraction. And fortunately, no tragedies have occurred here. To access the C-130 Hercules wreck, it's best to use the services of one of the local dive centers. The center staff will take us by bus with equipment to a beach about 15 kilometers from the center of Aqaba. On site, there are umbrellas and shelters where we can change. And nearby, there are public restrooms. We start from the beach, and the wreck is close enough for us to easily swim to. The sight of the plane's bow emerging from the depths left the biggest impression on me. Generally, the wreck is relatively shallow, at depths ranging from 12 to 17 meters. Daylight penetrates easily to this depth, so there's no need for a flashlight while diving the wreck. We have plenty of time underwater to explore. I spent about 40 minutes on it. Unfortunately, the wreck was damaged by a storm, so it's in two pieces, which makes penetration easier since we don't have to enter through doors. We can confidently swim into the hull from inside the wreck, but be cautious of protruding metal elements. If you're not comfortable in tight spaces, I strongly discourage entering the cockpit of the pilots, as getting there requires swimming through narrow metal parts of the plane. You can also view the pilot's cockpit from the outside through the front windows, which are not covered with glass. If you find yourself inside, don't be alarmed by the skeleton of a skeleton. It's not a real human skeleton. The best way to exit the cockpit is through the hatch located one level below on the left side. The second part of the plane you can swim into is the tail, where there's more space than in the cockpit, but it's darker due to fewer windows. About 15 meters from the wreck, you'll find a piece of the machine's bow. The dive master will surely show it to you on the way back to the beach. Overall, the wreck is impressive and suitable for divers with limited experience. Diving in the Hercules C-130 in Aqaba is an unforgettable experience for wreck enthusiasts and underwater adventurers. However, remember that safety is paramount, so adhere to diving rules and guidelines, and use the services of an experienced dive guide who knows this place inside out. After returning to the beach, I recommend having some water and a meal before your next dives. I hope you enjoyed my account. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them.